What's up everyone, it's Bucky and welcome to your very first YouTube programming challenge. Now this is a challenge that I challenge all of my students and programmers all around the world to solve. What you have to do is build this pattern and over this next uh, video I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what I need to do to build this. But the only problem is I'm going to be missing one line of code in the whole thing and I challenge you to figure out using one line of code how I can fix this. So in case you don't know, as you can see, this is pretty much eight asterisks with spaces in between. In the second line is a space and then the asterisks begin again. So it's eight in a row, space, eight in a row. And then the next line, eight in a row, space, eight in a row like that. And it goes on for eight rows. So study this pattern and that's our goal right here. So next I'm gonna show you guys, or actually, uh, let me get this right here. And I'm gonna show you guys, um, give you guys a nice starting point. So the first thing we're gonna need to do to build this, and follow along and type in exactly as I do because this is what's what's gonna get you started. The first thing we need is three variables. And one equals zero, and two equals zero, and int three equals zero. And these are gonna be three counting variables. The next thing we're going to do is build three while loops. The inner one while one is less than eight. What we're going to do then is print F. And what we're going to print is pretty much just, oops, I already did that, an asterisk with a space. And what this is going to do is make a line of stars. So let me go ahead and compile and run this. And this is going to give us our very first line. Actually, I, I did something wrong already. What we're going to need to do is increment that by 1 so it actually ends. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys what we built so far. Come on, come on, no whammy, no whammy. So we got our first line built successfully. So now that we have that loop, we're gonna need to enclose this entire loop in the loop of itself, because we wanna run this entire loop two times. So let's go ahead and make another condition. And we'll write, while this, we're gonna wanna run this entire line twice. So let's go ahead and write, while two is less than two, we're going to want to run this and at the end we're going to want to let me uh do that just so we're going to want to set 1 equal to 0 because at the end of this one's going to be equal to 8 and we don't want that and then we're going to want to do print a new line f because if we don't then it's just going to be on the same line so let's go ahead and print a new line and after that we're going to want to print space print f print a space just like that and the last thing that we're going to need to do is increment this counter so this one doesn't keep going on forever so let me show you guys what we built so far and when uh, you're done looking at this you're going to be amazed and think that this is a little too easy the first loop we built put these asterisks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's what this did right here. It looped through this print statement 8 times and printed 8 asterisks or asterisks, however you say it. The next line pretty much just moved to the next line, put a space on it, and did the whole thing again. So right now we have this built and this built. So now you're thinking, all right. All you have to do is repeat that program four times, and this will give you your checkerboard pattern, what we were looking for at the beginning. All right, let's do that. Let's go while three is less than four. What we're going to want to do is loop through this. Let me move this up so you guys can see. There we go. And we also need to do couple of makeup things uh, we also need to set 2 equal to 0 because at the end of this inner loop 2 is going to be equal to 2 because of the increment 
and we don't want that we're gonna want to reset it and another thing we're gonna want to do is have three plus plus increment that so it actually runs through the loop and isn't a never-ending loop so let me just clean these loops up a little bit and now since we looped this through this four times we should get exactly what we wanted so let me go ahead compile and run this and you'll see what's gonna happen oh no dear heavens Betsy look at this we have our first two loops working perfectly but then for some reason that you guys are gonna need to figure out this checkerboard pattern doesn't reset and it goes one in and then they're all in from there so this is my challenge to you using one line of code somewhere in here you have to figure out what line of code it is and what to put so that our checkerboard pattern is what it what I showed you at the beginning and it's nothing too tricky and that is my challenge to you guys and I don't know what you guys are gonna win yet but I'll definitely give you a shout out I definitely want to see who's been following my tutorials who can actually accomplish this goal and just a fun little game uh, one of my professor professors told me this and it took me forever to figure out but I had an awesome time trying so what I'm gonna do is copy all of this code in my description box so you can just copy this and use it to work with and once you figure out the answer I want you to message me what line of code it is and where you put it or the new or the new code in total and I want you to send it to me and that person is the winner of my first challenge so again this is the problem you have and uh, the first thing I showed you is the thing which you wanted to get so whoever can fix this for me is the winner and I will congratulate you so one line of code that's the challenge. Good luck, everyone, and I look forward to hearing from you.